Howdy folks, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay today. So, um, <clears throat> I wanted to give y'all a frustrating update on something going on. So, I've told y'all that I was planning on going to Pikes Peak. As far as I'm aware, I still am. But the issue is I was planning on leaving out somewhere around six to eight o'clock this morning. It's currently about noon and I was also planning on taking my Mustang. I'm in my focus. And I'll figure I'll give y'all a little bit of backstory on why. So uh, about three weeks ago I'm out driving my Mustang, just running a couple errands for the wife, had to pass somebody on two lane. Grab third, put my foot down, clutch slip. Crap. Okay. So, got to figure out how I'm going to swap this clutch. Okay, cool. Get in touch with a buddy of mine, and he and I, he enjoys working on stuff way more than I do. He's way more knowledgeable than I am as far as just the experience. Like, I, in theory, I know how to do 99% of stuff concerning tear down, rebuilds, replacements, whatever, parts on parts. I haven't done a lot of it in hands-on stuff, so it's always handy to keep someone around that knows more than you. That's my buddy. He's like, yeah, we can, you know, weather's not going to be nice, so we can just go up to a family member's garage and we'll chuck it in there and do it in there on jack stands. Okay, great. But, you know, it's cool get all the transmission unbolted and we cannot get this stupid thing out and he and I are both at the end of strength patience and endurance physically so call it a night I drove up by myself without a follow car without anyone you know like anyone arranged to pick me up get my wife to meet me over at his house, apologize all over myself for leaving my crap in his family member's garage, go back up there a couple days later, and we touch the transmission for three minutes and it's on the floor. Okay, great. Find out that the rear main's leaking, as fortune would have it. Local auto parts store had all the little knickknacks that we needed. Get the rear main replaced, get a new pilot bearing put in, uh, go to put the fly, the new flywheel on, which is eight pounds lighter, and I can't wait to feel that. Go to put the new flywheel on, and it's really snug fit like the the inner and outer diameters of the crank flange to the flywheel and so on so I'm trying to hold it up there get one bolt in and I'm just trying to stagger the bolts in to draw the flywheel up onto the back of the crank now. turns out I cross threaded a couple bolts because I, the flywheel's not hanging straight and we boogered up a couple crank bolt or flywheel bolts okay cool no one had those in stock anywhere near by. Projects again at a halt. Got those ordered. They came in early this morning. Hopefully it's the right part. <laughs> and tomorrow the plan is go up there, finish bolting the flywheel up, do the clutch and pressure plate, throw the trans back in it, quick oil change, put fluid back in the transmission, and out the door. That's the plan. And the plan is then that I'm going to be heading off to Denver to go to Pikes Peak. I'm also planning a uh, stop somewhere in the middle, at least on the way out. I've got a friend that I have known for 13, 14 years at this point, I think. And we... Uh, have been online friends. They lived in Alaska for the longest time, and we just online friends, chit chat. It was really nice to be able to talk to them through various stages of life. I've known her through dating, breakups, marriage, kids, and family. And 
And as a matter of fact, Christmas of 18 or 19, I forget which one, uh, her and my wife conspired and <clears throat> they popped in and surprised me on Christmas. They live in Missouri now. So that's the plan is I'm going to go visit my friend in Missouri. I'm talking with her husband and as far as I'm aware she doesn't know about it. So I'm planning on getting out there at some point Saturday and then hanging out with them on Sunday and then heading over to Denver on Monday. That's the plan. But, yeah, um, we had legit, call it three or four hours of work to do, and we went over there at the pace that we're doing it, because, you know, we're not perfect. He was a professional. He got out of the automotive business a while back on the, the service side of things. He's now in parts. But, uh, you know, we're cracking jokes and running down tools and on and on and on it goes. So we are having some fun in there. But we had three or four hours worth of work to do and the car's been sitting on jack stand since Sunday afternoon and it's now Friday. It's Friday afternoon now so yeah. Fantastic rate of progress. So anyway just thought I'd give you an update on the Mustang. Hopefully we can get it finished up here later today and or at some point tomorrow and then I'll be back on the road and I won't have to get yet another ride back to my house because unfortunately and this is just one of the things the way it worked out the way it worked out his uh, family member that we've got this thing stashed in their garage lives a little over an hour away from me. I'm meeting him at his house, which is about the halfway mark. And I'm getting dropped off by my wife, so and so theoretically, when the car's fixed, I can just drive home and not have to worry about getting two cars back. So, but yeah, so far, none of that's happened. So, update's coming. Take care.